I love this one um, comedian named George Carlin. A lot of you know him. Um, uh, one of the teachings I learned from his comedy was that rights don't really exist. It's a fabrication. And we understand that rights comes from bodies like nation states and, uh, and um, international law and um, bodies like the UN. The idea of responsibility supersedes that. It goes back in time to ancestral times. And in our language, we don't have a word for rights. We have words for responsibility. Indigenous laws, responsibilities, are take what you need and leave the rest. And um, that means uh, you only take what you need and you, you operate with your laws creating products that are built right the first time. Foods that are acknowledged and, and uh, consumed fully. You don't take more than you need. It's not new. What's new is remembering what those protocols were and what they can be today, especially in the face of contemporary and uh, uh, future uh, proposals by this capitalist society to um, access what they call resources. These are not resources. This is a life force a life force that we have relationships to. We don't own it. Um, we don't own the rivers and we don't own the, the salmon. We have relationships with these worlds and our laws are our responsibilities. In our language, means our responsibilities, our ways. So the way we harvest salmon is our living law. The action of properly harvesting salmon to respect their world is the living law. You know, an invading force does not bestow the rights on people when they keep them oppressed. They, it, the rights are only a chance for them to kind of come out of that oppressive state once in a while to kind of feel a little bit empowered and then disappear back in, under that oppressive veil. Uh, responsibilities take us out of that veil. They, they give us a chance to walk freely on our lands. And when we take our responsibilities very serious, that's, that's the freedom that we experience. The, the air that we breathe isn't based on our rights, it's based on our ancestral responsibilities, which go back thousands of years. And the rights is something that kind of only goes back to 1982 here in Canada. But the United Nations has declared it as rights for Indigenous peoples. And um, being a hierarchical body, uh, upholding nation states and nation states uphold capitalist ideals and capitalist ideals depends upon um, infinite resources, infinite growth in a finite world and uh, that means all of us as human beings can protect that finite world by asserting our responsibilities collectively around the world, going back to humble ways of living.